Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at Evil Twin Brewing Low Life. 5.5% <clears throat> alcohol, contract brewed in Stratford, Connecticut, which means, which means I'm going to have to post this on NEBR, or New England Beer Reviews. Okay, and I would like to see Jeff of NEBR review this. A clever woman once said, fair is foul and foul is fair. Hoppy Pilsner. Low Life, the Gold Digger of Beers. Okay. As opposed to High Life, Low Life. And then in uh, 1986, you had the Wild, Wild Life. Okay. Um, so they're saying Hoppy Pilsner and I was assuming that it would be hoppier than your normal Pilsner, more like an IPL. And from that initial sip of the foam, I think that is the case. I was looking at some video reviews, and they weren't like going berserk about it or how awesome it is, but they were all saying how good and enjoyable it was. Extremely thick, slightly off-white head. It's very sunny out here at 8, 10 a.m. Um, with the sun shining through it, it's a brilliant apricot orange, golden orange with some bubbles. Uh, more straight gold with the sun shining at it. Let's go with the aroma. <clears throat> it's um, pungent, slightly fruity, and predominantly grainy, which would mean barley malt. Um, they're saying it's good on Beer Advocate with, okay, don't worry about the numbers. Good on Beer Advocate, the brother, brothers haven't reviewed it. 83 out of 100 on Rape Beer and a 98 out of 100 for the style. This is very hop forward. I don't know the IBU, but I would think at least in the 30s, possibly higher. You get some background white, sweet white bread, but the predominance is fruity hops and rather bitter hops at the end of the sip. Fruity in the mango apricot realm. Okay, tropical fruit. But no pineapple. Nope. Maybe, maybe, maybe red grapefruit. I don't know. Um, the mouthfeel is medium, a little slimy, or it's, I know it's nicer to say slick. Um, the finish is on the dry side. It's easy drinking, more or less, and um, it's good. It's refreshing. I was a little thirsty. Um, mm, when you think of Pilsner, you're not thinking of something like this. This is more like an IPL, or even you could make probably most people think it was a pale ale. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> like a Dale's pale ale, or a hipster, or a Sierra Nevada pale ale. Samuel Adams IPL maybe I don't know I just think it's mimicking that it's so well there's such fine powdery sediment so I mean if you want to if you want to drink a Pilsner that tastes like a pale ale go for it um, I think it's fine if you want to drink a Pilsner that tastes like a Pilsner well then you probably would get something like Pilsner Urkel for instance or Golden pheasant. Anyway, I'll give it an A minus. It's at the lower end of excellent because I find it does cross. It does cross style, and I'm not a big fan of cross style. Really, I mean, it doesn't necessarily bother me, but I'm not a huge fan of that. But when you're dealing with a flooded market, then you just there's this idea that there has to be differentiation. Um, 
and if you look at the Evil Twin website, they seem like, I mean, I didn't look through the whole thing, it seemed like they have hundreds of beer brands. <laughs> so, Les Le Bon Ton Roulé, an excellent beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying, by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans.